The Ultimate Guide to Pets Go, Mastering the Game in 24 Hours. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're as excited as I am about Pets Go, you're in for a treat. It's been exactly 24 hours and 45 minutes since this game was released, and I've spent the entire day diving deep into its mechanics. After exploring every nook and cranny and clarifying a few things with fellow gamers, I'm ready to present the ultimate guide to Pets Go. Whether you're a newbie or looking to optimize your gameplay, this guide has got you covered. Climbing the leaderboards, my journey to top 76. First things first, you might have noticed that I'm currently 76th on the top rolls worldwide. Many of you have been asking how I managed to hatch pets so quickly. The secret lies in a combination of strategies and boosts that significantly speed up dice rolls. Essential boosts for faster rolling. Hyper dice, this is crucial for speeding up your dice rolls. Make sure you have this activated to maximize your rolling speed. Faster rolls potion, always keep this potion active. It complements the hyper dice and further accelerates your rolls. Watermelons, a hidden gem in the game. Watermelons increase your rolling speed. Always aim to have the maximum number of watermelons active. Rainbow fruits. These fruits provide all the boosts of regular fruits, including the watermelon effect. By using rainbow fruits, you'll significantly increase your hatch speed. The power of the cocktail potion. The cocktail potion is arguably the most expensive and overpowered potion in Pets Go. Here's what it does. Boost luck. Increases your chances of hatching rare pets. Coin multiplier. Earn more coins from your activities. More breakables increases the number of breakable items around the map, which in turn provide more items and coins. Increased rolling speed. Yes, it even makes your dice rolls faster. Important tip. Only use the cocktail potion when you have a substantial number of insta-luck potion threes saved up. The cocktail lasts for 30 minutes, and to make the most of it, you need to stack it with other potent potions. Strategic upgrades. What to prioritize. With a myriad of upgrades available, it's essential to know which ones to focus on first. Currently, I have every upgrade except for two. Half a billion coin upgrade slightly increases the odds of getting a shiny huge pet. It changes the odds from 1 in 100 billion to 1 in 90 billion, not a significant difference for the hefty price tag. 999 million Pegasus Hoverboard Skin, a cosmetic upgrade that I'll get eventually. Must have upgrades for early progression. Auto roll path. Auto roll. Faster auto roll. Turbo roll. Hide rolls. These upgrades allow you to auto roll continuously while you focus on other tasks, like farming resources. Unlock breakables. One of the first things you should do. It lets you collect coins and items much faster while auto rolling. Luck upgrades. Lucky pets. Super lucky. Spotted egg. Cat egg. These increase your chances of hatching rare and powerful pets. Boosts and fruits. Fruits. Provide various temporary boosts. Potions. Unlock the potion vending machine and start collecting lower tier potions early on. Breakable upgrades. Break stuff faster. Loot bags. Presents. Big chests. Relics. Bonuses. These upgrades significantly enhance your coin earning potential and provide valuable items. Pro tip, there's no perfect order for upgrades, but it's wise to alternate between rolling upgrades, luck enhancements, and breakable upgrades to ensure balanced progression. Potions, maximizing their potential. Potions are a game changer, but using them efficiently is crucial. Potion vending machine and index. Potion vending machine, refreshes every 10 minutes, offering five random potions. Index shop, Refreshes every 30 minutes and often contains high-tier potions like Insta-Luck Potions, Rainbow Dice Rolls, and Golden Dice Rolls. Efficient Potion Usage Avoid using the following potions directly. Golden Dice Potion Rainbow Dice Potion Insta-Luck 1 Insta-Luck 2 Instead, save and combine them to craft Insta-Luck 3, which offers a 10, 000x luck boost compared to the lower tiers. Crafting tip, don't upgrade all your lucky potions to tier 5 immediately. You'll need tier 3 and tier 4 potions as ingredients for crafting higher tier potions. Fruit upgrades. On the opposite side of the map, you can upgrade your fruits. 
Prioritize upgrading to get more rainbow fruits, essential for crafting potent potions like the Rainbow Dice Potion. Understanding Gems and the Economy Many players have asked about gems and their purpose. Gems as tokens. Gems act as a token system where one Robux equals 1,000 gems. Acquiring gems. You can get gems by purchasing them or by trading pets with other players. Economy stability. This system helps prevent inflation, ensuring a stable in-game economy. The temptation of unlimited boosts. The unlimited boost option might seem appealing, but here's what you need to know. Duration. Lasts only 12 hours. Cost exponentially increases with each purchase. Some players have spent hundreds of thousands of Robux for temporary boosts. Recommendation. Unless you're willing to spend significant amounts, it's better to focus on potions and boosts you can acquire through gameplay. Trading Plaza and Rolling Limitations. The Trading Plaza functions similarly to other games. Set up booths, trade pets and items with other players. Limitations. You cannot roll pets while in the trading plaza or while in the upgrade tree. Plan your time accordingly to maximize rolling opportunities. Efficient farming strategies. To progress rapidly. Auto rolling. Always keep auto roll active. Breakables. Continuously farm breakable items around the map for coins, items, and boosts. Stack boosts. Use item potions, breakable potions, fruits, and other boosts to enhance your farming efficiency. Avoid wasting time. Don't linger in menus that halt rolling, like the upgrade tree. Setting goals. Aiming for the huge pets. The ultimate achievement in Pets Go is hatching a huge pet. Here's the current status. Huge Nightmare Corgis. 14 exist. Huge Shibas. 18 exist. Huge cats, 18 exist. Huge dogs, 14 exist. These pets are incredibly rare and most have been obtained by players who invested significant resources. Don't be discouraged if you haven't hatched one yet. Focus on optimizing your luck through potions and upgrades, future plans and closing thoughts. I'm planning to create a video on finding all 50 relics, which provide a permanent luck boost. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. In conclusion, Petsco may seem overwhelming at first, but with the right strategies, you can progress rapidly without unnecessary spending. Focus on smart upgrades, efficient farming, and intelligent potion usage. Thank you for sticking around until the end. If you found this guide helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on. Your support means the world to me.